All right, so this video is actually coming to you this soon because the Michael Myers light goal was literally met first day. Crazy the amount of love you guys showed on that video. Thank you so much. We will continue the horror content as long as you guys show love. So 300 likes on this video, and I will follow up with another video on the Hellraiser verse. So why am I doing this one? Hellraiser is one of the most consistently requested verses on my channel, like in terms of the horror category. People all the time comment, yo, how strong is Pinhead? How strong is the Hellraiser verse? I never had a high opinion of the verse because the movies suck. Like, let's be honest with ourselves, some of those movies are literally unwatchable. Um, but when I went and watched a couple of the old ones that I watched when I was a kid, and then I read the comics, my opinion completely changed. This verse is broken. So real kick, uh, smash the like button if you like videos like this. Of course, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, all that. We got that out the way real quick. I'm excited for this. I'm just going to give a brief overrun on why the Hellraiser verse is far stronger than you imagined. And if it does well, I will love to do follow-up videos breaking down specific aspects like pinhead cenobites all that but first we need to talk about the relevancy of the comics because that's important because some of you might be like yo we care about the movie lore why are you talking about the comics the comics i will be referring to in this video literally were created by uh clive barker himself approved by him and are made as a continuation to his verse the problem with his verse was some of the stuff he wanted to portray in the films simply couldn't be in the films because of how extreme they are, how controversial, things like that. It's literally dealing with hell. So he wants to get demonic in these comics. He teamed up with some all-time classic writers and artists from the era uh, and produced some crazy shit. So this is the 1989 Hellraiser series I'll be referencing. Um, and it, it portrays instantly how strong this verse really is so the big dog of the verse is not pinhead i think a lot of people casually assume he's the big bad strong character of the verse uh which is fine because obviously when i was a kid i thought that's who the big dog was he is not he serves the leviathan the leviathan is a being that is pure evil itself just the end of nothing it's like it's it's the end it's uh, dark, evil, whatever you fear is the end of all things, that's what the Leviathan is. And what the Leviathan does is it sends little boxes throughout all of time and space. So these stories actually span across all of time and space. Different worlds, different scenarios, um, different conditions, all combined by one thing. Hell and the Leviathan operate with power based off of desire. So what they do is they are trolling the real world, basically. They just show up there and introduce hell to the real world, corrupt it as much as po possible to eventually achieve the end game, which I will uh, speak about in a bit. But when they troll, they prey upon desire of any type. And if it's a strong enough desire, if it's a desire at all, they can affect you. Uh, some Cenobites have shown the ability, like Pinhead, to ignore that rule, but that is a basic function of the servants of hell. What they follow um, is to corrupt those that desire. Um, this can be seen in the form of artists desiring to be the greatest artists of all time, musicians desiring to be the greatest musicians of all time, so on and so forth. It manifests itself in many different ways. So these boxes um, get sent throughout time and space, and when the puzzle is solved, hell can be accessed. They act as doors to hell. Hell, obviously, is extra dimensional. Um, and these beings can literally, even some of the basic Cenobites, can literally warp reality and warp the universe. They actually were playing musical notes that were stated to have the uh, raw power to split the universe, make it sick, uh, completely shred down the wall that separates reality from what is not real cenobites also deal like some of their currency is like literally imagination like to avoid being completely turned into 
uh, food for the Cenobites, this one crazed po uh, poet who is accessing the power of darkness to write these demonic poems, uh, started spitting some hell bars, bro. He was like saying wild shit to them that was so deep into dark imagination that they fed upon it and didn't fold him instantly, although they did fold him uh, real quick right after this is one of the worst verses to live in ever like there's no happy ending to these stories characters like pinhead are just even with his grand powers in hell like if you go to his extra dimensional existence absolute fodder to the absolute power of darkness the archduke uh duke of chaos itself which is the leviathan who wants to return everything to nothing so you have multiple showcases of extreme uh reality warping uh even early on in the comics all in the name of the leviathan um you see reality can be shredded and bent to whatever they want it to they deal in transcendental ideas and powers um beyond the scope of what humans can comprehend um and overall the hellraiser verse to me is stupidly underrated i mean it, it was non-stop chaos in the comics uh the reason i'm not covering the entire run is one i want to see what you guys think of the verse how how strong you think it is if it interests you to learn more of the lore because like i said the comics literally are made to flesh out the lore of the entirety of the mythos um if you're interested in it we will continue it but I only did the first five uh, issues for this video because they're stupid long. Um, but the last thing we got to talk about is what is the purpose of the Leviathan? Does the Leviathan have any plan? Because that's what interests me when get when I get into verse uh, scaling is like, what's the plan, the goal of these big time characters and players, right? Crazy thing about the Leviathan is, um, according to the comics, he's looking to eventually bring about the death of all the gods which should include god himself in the comics which is crazy but apparently he does have the power to do that but he's trolling because it's stated hell is eternal so basically leviathan takes its time doing what it wants to do because it literally has no need to rush it's beyond time but anyways guys let me know what you think of the hellraiser verse are you interested in learning more about the lore and mythos behind this verse let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see a video on Cenobites first? Do you want to see a video on Pinhead first? Uh, the different stories. Let me know what you think with the different con uh, concepts. But anyways, it's been your boy, YFE, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.